Hey everyone, so today's makeup look is a celebrity inspired one. It's a really pretty bronzed, I don't know, just pretty look. It is inspired by Perry Edwards. I've been requested to do a look inspired by her for a really long time, so I chose this look, but I really want to do another one soon inspired by one of her more bright and fun looks because she likes to wear that kind of makeup as well. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and if you do, please thumbs up and stay tuned to learn how to do it. To begin, I am starting with a primer spray. This one is by Urban Decay. And I'm just going to let that soak in and then I'm following up with my Bare Minerals Prime Time. And this is a neutralizing primer. So it's gonna help even out the redness in my skin tone. Next, to achieve the flawless finish that Perry is rocking, I'm using some foundation. And I realized after I started applying this, I'm using a flat top brush, by the way, by EXO Beauty. I realized it was a little bit too pale, so I'm also taking a shade darker and just mixing that in to make sure everything matches my neck and chest flawlessly. Read about your life in your local paper. Next, I am taking a concealer that is a shade or two lighter than my foundation and I'm applying that in a triangular shape underneath my eyes and I'm gonna blend that in using a little foundation brush. And then to achieve Perry's bronzed golden cheeks and harsh contour, I'm using a cream contour kit first and I'll put on a little bit of powder later on as well. This is also going to help my skin look a little bit more golden and match the fake tan I have on on my chest and shoulders and everything. It looks a little bit light, like my foundation looks a little bit light, but I promise you it's not. It is just the lighting. Make sure you set everything in place with a powder as well just to help it last all day long. And you also want to set underneath your eyes too, just to make sure your concealer doesn't crease throughout the day. Perry is wearing a quite thick kind of brow with a little bit of an arch as well, but it's not super arch, it's a little bit flat, so I'm kind of trying to copy her eyebrow shape. I don't know how well I did, but I tried my best. I'm using my trusty MAC Fluid Line and my L'Oreal Brow Plumper to achieve this. And then for the eyeshadow, it's super, super simple. She's not really wearing too much at all. I'm starting with a natural shimmery kind of peachy brownish eyeshadow just all over the lid and slightly into the crease and then I am taking a slightly darker kind of warm brown color and this is going to go in the crease slightly I'm not doing it too intense like she's not really wearing that much at all and I'm really focusing it on that inner kind of crease area as well it's quite dark in there and then I'm using a clean blending brush just to make sure there's no harsh edges it also looks as natural as possible and then the key to the look is using a dark warm eyeshadow and winging it up towards the brow bone and then I am taking the tiniest bit of that same dark brown and popping that on the inner crease again just to deepen up that area and make it look a little bit more deep set that is it for the eyeshadow. So to finish the look, we just want to use a couple different eyeliners and mascara. So for the eyeliners, I'm using a gel in my tight line just to make my lashes look really, really nice and thick like Perry's look. And then I'm using a yellowy flesh tone on my waterline just to open up my eyes. Okay, just kidding. There's one more eyeshadow. On the inner corner, I'm using a little bit of Makeup Store Carver. Just a really natural kind of glowy golden color that is very, very similar to what Perry is wearing. And then on my top and bottom lashes, I'm using this MAC, I think it's called Upward Lash Mascara or something similar. This actually looked so, so, so spidery as you can see in a moment. So I decided to add some falsies. I don't think Perry is wearing falsies, like I'm pretty sure she's not. But I'm using these really natural wispy ones just to break up my lashes and make my lashes look a lot less spidery. Mm -hmm. 
So as you can see, this just really helps to make my lashes look a lot more fluttery and voluminous. And then I'm really angry, but my camera stopped filming. So I'm just showing you what I did for those last couple of steps. I added a little bit more contour powder from the Kat Von D palette. And then to highlight my face, I used the matte highlight powder from Laura Mercier on my cheekbones and also on the very tip of my nose. And then on my lips is one of my favorite products, Stark Naked Lip Liner by Urban Decay. It's one of my favorites at the moment. And I layered Pure Zen by MAC on top of that just to create a really nice kind of pinky mid-tone nude, I guess. To finish the look and get rid of any excess powders off my face, I'm using a little bit of setting spray and making sure that it's nice and soaked in. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like it, please comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Let me know if you have any more makeup celebrity requests. And I will talk to you again very, very, very soon. Bye. Hi everyone, so I always get really 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 good feedback when I do haul videos. Loads of people seem to like them so I thought I would do another one today. The stuff today I bought myself and this is from one of my favourite online websites called Misguided. The first thing I picked up is this skirt. It's a midi length and it's just the most gorgeous like dusty pink colour. I'm obsessed with this shade.